Lesson 12 Creating Masters In this chapter we'll discuss about the masters that are provided in busy basically masters shows the static information that is masters need to be created only once and then we can use them in our daily transactions that is day to day transactions masters can be referred to as account master item master tax category master bill sundries there are a lot of masters provided in busy but in this chapter we'll discuss about only the account and the item master Account master can be your parties, banks, your expense account, revenue accounts. Similarly, item master in busy refers to the items in which you deal, trade or manufacture. So first of all, we'll go to administration masters menu. Here you can see complete list of masters is displayed that are available in our basic edition. But in this chapter, we'll discuss only the account and the item master starting with the account master. On clicking the account option, you can see three options are appearing add, modify and list. Using add option, you can create a new account. Using modify option, you can modify or edit details of the existing accounts. And using list option, you can view the complete list of the account master that are created already. So first of all, we'll create a new account master by going to account add option. Specify the name of the account, alias of the account print name here print name is having the same concept that we have discussed at the time of company creation that is in busy two account masters can have same print name but cannot have same account name or alias so account name and alias must be unique two parties or two accounts can have same print name then is group very important select the group under which this account falls that is if we are creating this as a party account then we can select either sundry creators or sundry debtors Similarly, if we are creating an account master for our bank accounts, then here we can select the group as bank account. If you remember in our previous chapter, we have created an account group not debtors. So you can select group as not debtors also, which will automatically fall under the sundry debtors group. Next, opening balance, you can specify if any and that opening balance is a debit balance or a credit balance and then is the previous year balance it is the uh, last year closing balance is the same which is the opening balance of this year then here a point arise then why there is a field of previous year balance this is because in case of revenue account groups opening balance of this year and previous year closing balance can be different then specify the address of the party here a few lines are provided for specifying the address then country we have selected uae emirates dubai type of dealer registered unregistered so we are selecting registered then you can specify the emirates id trn of the party mobile email fax transport related details and then is the maintain bill by bill balancing option if you specify yes in this option then you can create different bill references for this party at the time of voucher entry or for the opening balance also then you need to specify the credit days for sales and credit dates for purchase here we are specifying 30 days each with this when you create a bill reference for any amount then by default 30 will be added to the current date and that will become the due date for that reference we'll see this concept also later on next you can specify the bank related details like beneficiary name bank name bank account number ifsc code and click the save button to save the account master on clicking the save button a bill by bill details of opening balance window will appear in which we are creating the reference for the opening balance that is we are specifying the reference number its date amount and you can see due date is appearing automatically that is 30 days are added in the date that we have specified next we are creating one more account master this account master is for our bank account so we have specified the bank name group as bank accounts then country emirates type of dealer emirates id trn all these details you can specify next we are creating one more account master that is office maintenance expense account this is our expense account so we'll select its group as expense indirect administrative that is we are, we are specifying this account as our expense account then if VAT is applicable, you can specify yes in that field and further can specify tax category, VAT tax code and ITC eligibility for this account. Now on selecting the modify option, you can see a list of master is appearing. All these masters are created automatically or by default at the time of company creation. These are basically generic master that are required by each and every business type. So these masters are created automatically. Like you can see on the screen, we have opened plant and machinery account in modify mode. Then we have opened salary account in the modify mode and then the sales account. So all these accounts are generic account. The accounts that are user need based, those accounts user can create individually using the account add option. 
Next is your list option. Using list option, you can view the list of accounts. On selecting this option, a message is appearing in which there are two options, screen and printer. Using the screen option, you can view the accounts list on screen and using the printer option, you can print the account master list. On selecting any of the option, another option is appearing that is you want to view list in the standard format, configurable, alphabetical and configurable hierarchical. So first we are viewing the list in standard format. We are viewing this list for all accounts. Next is configurable alphabetical that is all the account masters will appear in the alphabetical order. This list is completely configurable that is you can add or remove certain columns from this list. Next is your uh, configurable hierarchical. If you select this option then you can view the list of masters in an hierarchical order. That is first the main account group then any sub account that falls under this group and then the accounts that fall under that particular subgroup for example sundry debtors north debtors and then the accounts that fall under the group north debtors now we'll go to our item master we'll go to item add option specify the name of the item specify the group here we are selecting the group that we have just created in our previous chapter refrigerators if you remember we have specified the tax category as 5% for this item group so that tax category is appearing by default here then specify the unit of the item opening stock if any and the value of the opening stock then we'll specify the sales price purchase price MRP and minimum sale price of the item if you want you can specify the default sales account default purchase account with this item and then are your discount related details that is sales discount purchase discount and if you specify yes in the specify sales discount structure then you can select the discount structure to be applicable for this item these discount structures are created automatically by busy next you can specify item description also like uh, you can specify any description like uh, these are frost free refrigerators or if there is any extent warranty provided with this and as your set critical level if you specify yes in this option then you can set the critical level for the item critical level refers to the minimum order level reorder level or maximum order level and then you can specify the number of days for which these levels are to be maintained next is don't maintain stock balance specify yes in this data field if you do not want to maintain stock of this item next specify default vendor if you specify yes in this data field then you can select a party which will be tagged as the default vendor for this particular item click save button to save the item master next we are creating one more item with the name amc that is it is our service item if, if you provide amc to your customers also then you can create an item for the same here we are selecting its unit as na that is not applicable because with service item generally we don't need a unit so here we are selecting the unit as na and you can see on the screen on selecting the unit as na don't maintain stock balance option is automatically set to yes if you want to change this option that is if you specify no in this option busy will show a message box that since the unit is selected as na you cannot maintain stock for this item obviously when we are not maintaining unit with an item then we will not be able to maintain stock for that particular item click save button to save this item master same we have discussed in the account master similar options modify and list appears for the item master also so this is all we have to discuss in this chapter at the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise you can view the exercise on screen and attempt it hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily create and use account and item masters in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel